welcome all dye penetration test is the topic of this video we are going to cover what is by dye penetration test principles of dye penetration test advantages and disadvantages of dye penetration test along with that there is a link for the quiz in the description box so let us start with the topic what is dye penetration test so first topic is what is dye penetration test dye penetration is one of the simplest and oldest known destructive inspection method okay this is also known as liquid penetration test in this test what we are going to do we are going to detect the surface discontinuities okay like cracks fractures porosity grinding defects incomplete fusion or flaws in joints so this is the main agenda we are going to detect the surface discontinuities also if you see this test can be utilized for finding the irregularities in all kind of metals for example aluminium cast iron brass steel stainless steel copper manganese carbides stellites even for plastic materials also so you can say the ferrous and non ferrous both materials we can check the discontinuities so this test is highly economical as we discussed it is very simple we will discuss how we are going to do this how it is simple but this is highly economical and this is suitable for both ferrous and non ferrous materials now let us talk about principles of dye penetration test this dye penetration test works on philosophy of capillary action and there is a phenomena where a liquid with low surface tension can penetrate into a clean dry surface the condition is if the liquid is kept for a certain time period this time period is called dwell time so capillary action and dwell time to to execute the capillary action because of capillary uh, philosophy there has to be fulfillment of dwell time so particular time period that liquid has to stay over the surface so that it can penetrate into the irregularities so there are few methods like dipping spraying or brushing with the help of which we can apply the liquid penetrant over the test specimen where we want to check the irregularities so once the dwell time is over a particular time period for which the liquid should stay over the surface once that period is over then the excess amount of uh, penetrant can be removed okay so depending on the type of dye used the dye penetrant inspection is performed under white or ultraviolet light right this this also helps in looking at the surface and identifying the penetration visually so this is how the dye penetration test works on capillary action principle now let us look at the advantages of dye penetration test there are many advantages of this test first of all we can detect the very small defects also right suitable for range of material as we discuss ferrous and non ferrous materials can be checked with the help of dye penetration test also inspection is very quick and can easily cover the large areas and volumes wherever we can apply the uh, penetrant that surface can be checked so inspection of complex shapes can also be performed right wherever like we discussed even the shapes if the, uh, these are complex one that also we can detect when we are able to apply the penetrant over these surfaces so indications on the surface constitute a visual representation of flow and about the actual defect right so what we are trying to say is once we apply this penetrant over the surface and there is a capillary action we can always look into the surface visually and we can actually defect the actually identify the defect so we can get a very good idea visually also also the application how to apply the penetrant over the this is all portable right so it is very easy to apply materials and associated equipment for dye penetrating test are inexpensive 
so what we are trying to say here we are discussing the advantages it is very easy to apply very uh, inexpensive also it is portable type equipment and very complex uh, shapes can also be identified also the visual detection is possible so this is very easy and inexpensive method now let us look at few of the disadvantages also there are few disadvantages which are associated with dye penetrating test first of all it is limited to surface breaking defects only any defects which are on surface that can be identified but another point is like uh, only known porous surfaces are suitable their only capillary action and dwell time performs better also direct access to the test surface is prerequisite okay there should be access to the surface also then only the penetrant can be applied and we can identify it visually also the sensitivity can be affected with respect to the surface finish and roughness of the body so these are few of the limitations which are associated with the dye penetrating test so in this video we talked about what is dye penetrating test principles advantages and disadvantages of liquid penetrating test along with that there is a link uh, to the quiz which is uh, specially uh, made on this topic along with this quiz there are uh, other links given specially related to the courses available on epc land and other quizzes also so thank you for watching see you in the next part